Today I wanted to talk about what are the signs and symptoms of iron deficiency anemia. The signs and symptoms of iron deficiency anemia depend on its severity. Mild to moderate iron deficiency anemia may have no signs or symptoms whatever. When signs and symptoms do occur they can range from mild to severe. Many of the signs and symptoms of iron deficiency anemia apply to all types of anemia. Initially, iron deficiency anemia can be so mild that it goes unnoticed, but as the body becomes more deficient in iron and anemia worsens, the signs and symptoms intensify. Iron deficiency anemia symptoms may include extreme fatigue, pale skin, weakness, shortness of breath, chest pain, frequent infections, headache, dizziness or lightheadedness, cold hands and feet, inflammation or soreness of the tongue, brittle nails, fast heartbeat, unusual cravings for non-nutritious substances such as ice, dirt or starch, poor appetite especially in infants and children with iron deficiency anemia, and uncomfortable tingling or crawling feeling in your legs like restless leg syndrome. So let's talk about the signs and symptoms of anemia. The most common symptom of all types of anemia is fatigue or tiredness. Fatigue occurs because your body doesn't have enough red blood cells to carry oxygen to its many parts. Also, the red blood cells within your body have less hemoglobin than normal. Hemoglobin is an iron-rich protein in red blood cells. It helps red blood cells carry oxygen from the lungs to the rest of the body. If you don't have enough hemoglobin carrying red blood cells, your heart has to work harder to move oxygen-rich blood through your body. This can lead to irregular heartbeats called arrhythmia, a heart murmur, an enlarged heart, or even heart failure. In infants and young children, signs of anemia include poor appetite, slowed growth and development, and behavioural problems. So what are the signs and symptoms of iron deficiency? Well, the signs and symptoms of iron deficiency may include brittle nails, swelling or soreness of the tongue, cracks in the side of the mouth, an enlarged spleen, and frequent infections. People who have iron deficiency anemia may have an unusual craving for non-food items. This craving is called pica. Some people who have iron deficiency anemia develop restless leg syndrome, RLS. RLS is a disorder that causes a strong urge to move the legs. This urge to move often occurs with strange and unpleasant feelings in the legs. People who have RLS often have a hard time sleeping. Iron deficiency anemia can put children at a greater risk for lead poisoning and infections. Some signs and symptoms of iron deficiency anemia are related to the condition's causes. For example, a sign of intestinal bleeding is bright red blood in the stools. Very heavy menstrual bleeding, long periods or other vaginal bleeding may suggest that a woman is at risk for iron deficiency anemia. So when is it a good idea to see your doctor? If you or your child develop signs and symptoms that suggest iron deficiency anemia, see your doctor straight away. Iron deficiency anemia isn't something to self-diagnose or treat. Go and see your doctor for a diagnosis rather than taking iron supplements on your own. Overloading the body with iron can be dangerous because excess iron accumulation can damage your liver and cause other complications. Thanks for watching this video and if you'd like more health videos then please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thanks for now. Bye bye.